All right, what's up guys? It is your boy Delta and today's video is going to be about the Cronus Max and using it on a PlayStation 4. Basically, all you're going to want to do is go to the Cronus Max website, have this thing authorized with the little port thingy on the side of it, you plug it in, and get it to work. Like all of that other stuff that you're supposed to do, it'll probably give you a tutorial on the page itself. Just go to cronusmax.com and you'll download the program and then it'll let you use your Cronus Max for the first time. So after you do that, we will come down to the PlayStation in a second. Once you're down to the PlayStation, all you're going to want to do is plug it in like so. And it's going to be doing all this random stuff. And then what you want to do so you don't have a disconnect is you plug it in like so. You plug this three adapter thing jig in. You plug in your PlayStation 4 controller, which I will be using Discord with. You plug it into the USB. You plug the other one to another USB port. You plug your PlayStation 4 controller in. Like so. And then I'm using a 360 controller because I'm not a PlayStation 4 fan. You plug it in. Like so. And then you're up here like this. I just signed in, no problem. And to not receive any problems with that anymore, you just have to leave your PlayStation 4 controller plugged in and you will have no dish connections errors. And yeah, and if you download any of the mods or stuff like that, you basically just gotta press the button, it's at 1 right now, then you go to 2. I like it at 2 because then I can use select, to the best of my knowledge I can. Yes, I can use select because usually it would bring up the share menu and I'm pressing select right now and it's not bringing up the share menu so we're good. So basically that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new and hopefully it helped your Cronus Max problems and we'll see you later. Peace.